Welcome to Revit. This video is going to walk you through the main functions of the program and how to find different features. And we're going to start off by opening up something that I've already created for you so that uh, you can kind of see the what all it might be capable of. So go ahead and go to your shared drive folder. It's in BCHS under Industrial Tech, CAD, and Revit. And the file that we're going to look at is Hotel Final. And let's just go ahead and set yourselves up with uh, what this should look like. And one thing you'll notice right away is you probably don't have this project browser on this side of your screen. You do have it, however. It's just hiding out over here. Uh, if I can get it to to pop up I'll show you and it's not really wanting to do that there we go it'll probably look something kinda like this on your screen grab where it says project browser drag it over to the other side hold it up and over until it snaps and leave it right there double click on your first floor and let's talk about what you see here um, well this is the first floor plan you see it looks a little bit cluttered and messy we have all different kinds of views that are associated with different floor plans you'll be creating these as you go throughout Revit and make more and more things if I want to just look at for example the furniture plan of the same first floor I can double click on that and this is a different view that someone created and uh, it represents what the furniture layout would be likewise you have the first floor life safety plan and this is showing the important fire exits and stairways and uh, different ways to get out of the building if needed. Okay, let's go back to the first floor plan. And notice if we were to hover over something like a window, it pops up and it tells you what kind of window it is that you're looking at. So this is a casement 3x3 three three with trim. If I hover over this door, this is a curtain wall storefront double door. If I hover over one of these, it's a double flush door. So just hovering, it will tell you what exactly it is that you're looking at. What kind of wall, what kind of door, what kind of stair, what kind of railings. Okay. If you were to click on any of these, let's click on a window. Notice, as soon as I click on it, this top ribbon changes it goes into a modify windows bar it tells me exactly what kind of window I'm looking at and it gives me options as to what level I want it to be placed on if I want it on the second floor instead of the first floor I could change that here I could change uh, things like well I know what the sill height is there are ways to change where the sill height is located not from this window though uh, and there's some other things that are telling you basic information about this. If we click the drop down, we can pick a different kind of window to go in its place. Same style, different size, different style and size. Whatever we want, it's all right here. Same kind of thing if you click on a door, notice the top ribbon changes again. Now you have a modified door tab and you have the same kinds of options. I can change it to a different kind of a door. If I select more than one element at a time, so you have to hold down control first and then click on something else, now I have a modify or multi-select and the same kind of thing. If you hit escape a couple times, if you draw a box around a whole bunch of items, you have a modify multi-select thing again. And you can filter out to just see what it is that you're looking for. So if I only want to see windows, I can uncheck all this other stuff and it would just show me windows that are selected in this segment. I guess I should go check none and then check my window and click OK. Right, so now it's only windows that are now highlighted. It's kind of neat. Alright, let's keep going. <clears throat> so we looked at the first floor furniture plan, we looked at the first floor safety plan. Uh, let's go and look at one of these elevation views. This is a term you may not be familiar with yet. Don't worry, it'll be on a quiz. An elevation is an outside view that's looking straight at one of the uh, um, 
coordinates. So it's east or west or north or south. This is showing how tall the structure is and what the outside of it looks like. So we can look at different elevations, get an idea from that as to what the building would actually look like. Notice we have a little square down here. If you hover, it says visual style hidden line. If we switch and make it shaded instead, it'll display things as their actual color. So instead of it just being gray, now it's showing red for a brick. And you can kind of see the concrete blocks over here. You see the wooden door, see the glass. Uh, storefront windows. If I change that to realistic, this will render it to where you can actually see not just red to represent bricks, but actual bricks. If you zoom in close enough, you see they're all detailed and original and different. And it's another kind of cool thing that Revit has you don't have with other programs. Okay, so we've gone through the different ways to shade things. Let's go back to the first floor plan view. All right, so similar to Inventor, you have some options up here, but this doesn't look like a view cube. Uh, this is actually a, a zoom to region button, and this is good if you want to look at just one particular region. You can click and drag a box around something, such as a stairwell. I can just look at the stairwell and I can right click, I can zoom out times two, I can zoom to fit. Try that. Try to right click and zoom out times two or to zoom to fit. And you'll notice that zoom to fit does the same thing as double clicking your middle mouse wheel. If we're scrolled in somewhere, we double clicked our mouse wheel and pull everything back to where you can see whatever you've drawn as large as it can possibly fit inside your view window. Now something else kind of neat with Revit is that uh, you don't always have to look in 2D views. If you click this little house button, this goes to a 3D view. And now you have the same kind of view cube that you had with Inventor. We can look at different uh, sides of this. We can rotate it around by holding down shift and the mouse wheel just like with Inventor when I make these videos it gets kinda chuggy when I do that so I have to use the cube instead to click and drag it around you shouldn't have that issue uh, but you can see the outside of the building fairly well from here and again you can try and switch between different shading styles and go with consistent colors or we can go with the shaded or we can go with the realistic again All right. Let's uh, let's actually make a printout of this. To do that, see over here in your project browser how you have 3D views, and the very bottom you have one that's in bold that just says 3D. Let's double click that. or I'm sorry right click it rename it let's call this uh, ISO hotel so it's the isometric view of the hotel and click OK now if we go to something else and come back to ISO hotel it'll bring back this view handy let's go back to the first floor floor plan And notice, instead of just going to a 3D view, if you click the drop down, you can also grab a camera. We're going to take a picture of the lobby. To do so, right around where it says Lobby 101, I want you to click the camera once, move your mouse, click a second time, and it should bring a picture into place. Okay? This picture is automatically labeled as 3D View 3 right click that rename it and call this lobby right 
notice you can still change this to something like realistic and when it gets through with its rendering it will uh, display what it would look like if it was a rendered photograph like if you're actually in the lobby taking a picture now that's all that I have for this video the things that you need to do are to print out your lobby and your ISO hotel make sure you put your name on this and we're just gonna go to the little drop down if you say print sometimes this works we want the current window and we want it to print to room 301 sharp you don't have the design jet option don't worry about that if you go to your preview it'll show you what you're about to print now just to save me some ink before you go to print this change this back to uh, shaded so it's not printing all the fancy colors and everything you don't have to make it hidden lines you could if you wanted to actually yeah let's do that I want you to print out the hidden lines of the lobby and the hidden lines of your ISO hotel again you go to the big R in the top right corner go down to print you're printing the window you're printing to my printer and if you preview it it should display it just as your screen showed it good luck